Uh, the Indians, of course, uh, one of the strengths they have, they have a lot of strengths uh, and a couple of weaknesses, notably in the outfield, but uh, one of the strengths, the manager, Terry Francona, you still high on him, D-Man, as far as uh, his abilities as a major league manager? A hundred percent. I'm bullish on Francona. I would not buy stock in him because it's too high. Wow. You know, well, I, I'd, have, I'd have to pay too much for it. Good point. Good point. You get it? Yes, I do. All right, so uh, the Major League MLB uh, NewArena.com rated all of their uh, managers. And there's so many, you know, you got half the managers are veteran guys, and then you have uh, the new breed coming in, the analytics guys and uh, guys that, that didn't play the game at the Major League level or didn't play it very well. But here's what he's got. He's got Francona is the best in baseball, followed by Bob Melvin of the A's, Joe Madden now with the Angels, Joe Girardi back in the, the game with the Phillies, Dave Roberts, uh, who played, of course, for the Indians. Dusty Baker, Alex Cora. Well, he's not the manager wow. now. Yeah, but, Cora's gone. Yeah, Cora's gone. Dave Martinez of the Nationals, uh, Brian Snitker of the Braves, and Aaron Boone, who did a good job with the Yankees. You know, you say he did a good job. You'd think anybody could do a good job with the Yankees, but he, he had to navigate through a whole bunch of injuries. Uh, Frank Kona now has uh, managed in the big leagues with the Phillies. He would tell you that he didn't do very well. That was 97 to 2000. With the Red Sox, 2004 to 2011, and now the Indians since 2013. And he's got a career record, uh, including that uh, bad stretch at Philadelphia. 542 percentage, two World Series wins, 04 and 07 with the Red Sox. Never had a losing season with the uh, Red Sox or the Indians. And, uh, and uh, the streak uh, could continue this year if, if there is baseball. And uh, his importance to the Indians, uh, D-Man, He's got a 564 record percentage with the Indians, third most wins in franchise history. Four straight seasons with 90 plus wins, 102 and 60 record in 2017, and that was the second most wins in franchise history be behind the 1954 team. Three AL Central titles, one World Series appearance, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, D-Man, when he came here, I would have never, I would have never imagined he'd still be managing the Indians at this at this stage of the game. Yeah, you weren't sure uh, what his longevity was going to be, but he's obviously found a home here, overcame a uh, health scare a couple years ago. Uh, hes I would put him at the top of the list of major league managers current. Um, it is interesting, though, when you look at the most recent World Series champions, uh, of course, Dave Martinez, but he hasn't been in it long enough. But then you got Alex Cora, who's not there. Uh, anymore. He got booted. By the way, MLB, uh, what kind of pace are you moving at to figure out whether the Red Sox did anything in 19, uh, in 2018? Still haven't heard from Manfred about the investigation of the Red Sox in 18. Why, so he's why, out. Why do you think that is, by the way? They, they think that he, they did know. so many bad, bad things. They did so many bad things that it, because it's that Red Sox franchise that it would to hurt the integrity of the game even more? Less, it is possible. And let me just finish the thought before. A.J. Yeah. Hinch, of course, winning in 17, he's gone. Uh, so Francona, give me Francona above any of these guys, including Joe Madden. Everybody worships the ground Madden walks on. I'll take Francona. I sure wish he would have been able to bag that World Series in 16 at Madden's expense. Then you've got a three-time world champ. But even then, he's, he's still in the Hall of Fame. Francona's still in the Hall of Fame. 